My husband just left me because he's been hit on by a woman for the first time in his life. God, I am so angry at. I don't know. Everything. This feels so messed up that I don't even want to talk to my best friend about it right now. It hurts too much. My husband just told me he is leaving me, and I can't believe the reason. I need to give some background, I am 34, and my husband is 38. We've been married for almost two years and dated for two years before that, so overall, it's been a bit more than four years. He's always been very insecure about himself, even though he has a great personality, or so I thought, is generous, caring, and can express his emotions. When I got to know him better, I couldn't believe he wasn't taken. In fact, he had only been in two relationships before, both five plus years long. He told me that's because he's shy and ugly and women don't really want anything from him, especially not good-looking ones. I am fairly conventionally attractive, and he has kept telling me for the past few years how lucky he feels to have found his dream woman who is also as attractive as me. I was wary at the beginning, so I let him court me for a while before going out with him for the first time. I really feared he had some dark secret that I just hadn't uncovered yet. Plus, I didn't want to look easy, but it turns out he's a really sweet guy, just very shy. I also don't think he's ugly. He's not super handsome, and frankly, I originally thought he wasn't my type, but his charm quickly melted that away. Once we started thoroughly dating, things went fast because it was all so wonderful. Apparently, a while ago, he was having lunch alone in the outside area of a restaurant when a woman walked by and struck up a conversation with him. He's shown me a picture of her since I asked, and she is drop-dead gorgeous. Maybe I'm exaggerating because I'm so mad, but she definitely looks better than me, I have to admit. He didn't tell me much about what they talked about, just that she was very friendly, they exchanged numbers, and started texting more and more often. He says she eventually started openly pursuing him even though she knew he was married, saying she had fallen for him and couldn't let this opportunity pass. He said he was hesitant once he realized she was hitting on him but also excited because this had never happened to him before. In the past, he repeatedly said that women, at least attractive ones like me, have it easy because we can lean back and let guys approach us, whereas for him, it was always hard work to get a single date. I always replied that it's not really like that and that being attractive has its own problems, but he always reminded me that he had to work really hard to get me to date him. He swears he has only met her once more, for lunch, after the first encounter and that he thinks it is not yet an affair. However, he wants to move forward with her because, as he put it, this is the first woman who is genuinely interested in me. I didn't have to text her for three months to get a date or anything. I can't let this pass. Or something along those lines. My memory is a bit hazy. The three months refers to the time it took him to get a date with me. That is why he says he is breaking up with me. He thinks it's the right thing to do because he wants to continue contact with her, but he also feels that doing so would be emotional cheating, and he doesn't want to cheat on me, so he's ending it before actually starting something with her. I feel devastated. I know there's nothing I can do. I want to be mad at him, but I am also mad at myself. I really liked him when we first met, why did I give him a hard time? If I had pursued him instead of playing hard to get, he probably wouldn't be interested in that woman. But I always felt that if a woman does that, she shows she's easy, and I didn't just want to get laid, so I thought I had to act that way. And now it's biting me in the butt. And I, of course, am very mad at him, but he didn't even cheat on me. He's behaving exactly the way I always say people should act when they fall in love with someone else. Ugh. I kinda wish he had actually cheated on me with her. That would actually make it easier. Thanks for letting me rant. I don't need advice, I know I'm screwed. Edit. Holy cow, this blew up so much. First, thank you all so much for your comments. This is much appreciated. And some of you made me really think. I still feel this was unwarranted, and if he was so unhappy, he should have told me, but I guess I wasn't as good of a wife as I thought. I didn't really show him that I loved him, and why, and didn't put in much effort. Someone said he was starving for attention, and I guess that's my fault in a way. Ugh. Still, I think just dropping me like this isn't right. I managed to get the courage to talk to my best friend. We'll meet later so I can tell her everything, and she spontaneously offered to take me out for a spa weekend. I hope I can clear my head there. I was so scared, but she was not at all condescending, she's the best. I feel like I couldn't have mustered up the courage for that if it weren't for all your support, so thank you all so much, even the critical ones. Update. A couple of days ago, I posted here about my husband suddenly leaving me because, for the first time, a woman showed active interest in him. Since links are not allowed in this subreddit, please check my profile for my post history. Yesterday, my husband and I met for the first time since he abruptly left last Friday. Frankly, after the meetup, I was very shaken, so it took me until today to write about this. Since many of you have reached out with helpful comments, I think you deserve an update. I wasn't up to it yesterday. Also, this is really long, so sorry in advance, there's just so much to cope with. So here we go. The situation felt very awkward, and I got the impression the whole time that he genuinely feels sorry for how things are and that what he is doing hurts me. I know many of you said he's a douche, a cheater, and whatnot, and I really, really understand you and am mad at him myself. But on the other hand, you all do not know him like I do. He's a very honest person, he despises lying, and is really bad at it, he carries his heart on his tongue, and I know him well enough to sense his feelings. Did that help me? Not much. Even if I wished, I couldn't paraphrase our talk, and I am sure I will miss certain things. 
Overall, it was a mixture of him talking and me asking questions, and it's all a big blur in my head, so I'll just summarize, I guess. First, he told me that he really, really loved me and still does, but he feels that his feelings for the new woman are stronger. He told me her name, let's call her Jasmine, not her real name. He admits Jasmine is gorgeous but claims that that on its own was in no way relevant to his decision. Yeah, right. He told me that she originally approached him because of a book he was reading during lunch. Supposedly, the book's author is her uncle, and she was able to tell my husband some funny stories about the time her uncle drafted that book. He says he and Jasmine have very similar interests, Jasmine also reads sci-fi as he does, because of said uncle who was a sci-fi author, and both like gaming and stuff. He says after they exchanged numbers, they initially only wrote about stuff like that, and later on, they talked about other hobbies and interests and found more and more and more common ground, as he put it. He also admitted that, like two weeks ago, he started to wonder if he should actively tell me about her, seeing how she turned from an acquaintance to what he deems a friend. I interjected that they don't know each other long enough to consider her a friend, but he says he feels Jasmine is really genuine with him. This is a man who cannot pick up social clues unless they are spelled out for him, but whatever. He also feels a lot more in tune with Jasmine than he does with me. Admittedly, we seem to have fewer common interests, but I never felt like I have to be exactly like my partner, opposites can complement each other well, and I always felt we did. Well, it looks like he feels much happier with someone catering to his interests a lot more. He also became a bit self-critical. He says after he left for his friend's place, he sat down and reread his conversation history with Jasmine, and he realized that she had indeed been flirting with him before she told him she wanted more. It didn't start out flirtatious, but he admits he totally missed that. He opened up the app on his phone and showed me the beginning and then when she started flirting. He might have tuned the messages, but at least the beginnings read friendly. The flirtatious parts, however, were blatantly obvious in my eyes, but. He actually blames himself for that and says that while that doesn't change his feelings for her, it means he should have noticed this earlier and, well, he said, made the decision to pursue her earlier. That sort of broke me, and I started sobbing because it sounds as if I never had a chance compared to Jasmine. He even wanted to console me, and I allowed that for a couple of minutes, but then I sought some distance again. It both felt good and bad to be in his arms. Then it was time to ask him why she is so attractive to him that he leaves me, his wife, for just the mere possibility of being with another woman. I mentioned that someone, I didn't say Reddit, suggested she might be a scam, or just interested in breaking up marriages and going after men who are taken, and such. He, of course, vehemently denied that. Supposedly, they met last Sunday to go out for dinner, and they talked about the fact that she approached him even though he is married, and she claims to have a really bad conscience about this and that she never would have done it had she not felt such a deep connection between them blah blah blah. I must admit I really struggled through that part because if it is true, it hurts me, and if it isn't, it hurts even more that he falls for BS. He then told me in excruciating detail about his dating life, how long he was a virgin, how he was always treated by girls back in middle school and high school, by the women in college and later on, how he really feels that he always has to be the one initiating, fighting even for a chance, and felt like he was always treated as unworthy by almost all women, and how that made him bitter, he admitted that but also how he always thought that someone who truly fits him, fits his personality, his character, his being, would be someone who would not make him jump through hoops, someone who'd outright tell him she is intrigued by him and wants him. He says he loves me dearly and was always very grateful for being with me, but that even with me, he always felt somewhere between a beggar and the subject of a pity party, where I bestowed the grace of my companionship onto him instead of actually liking and wanting him. When I asked him whether that means he settled for me, he vehemently denied that. He said when we started to date, I really treated him better than any woman had done before, so he really thought this was what he had been looking for, and before meeting Jasmine, he never felt like he needed more. I, of course, tried to tell him that I am not with him out of pity or anything and explained why I made him wait three months, and why I think the man should court the woman, and so forth. Then I also admitted that I might not have given him the appreciation he deserved. This time, it actually was his turn to drop tears for a bit. He said hearing that made him both grateful and unhappy that he never really communicated better about this. I told him that hearing him say that feels like he is putting the blame on me. And I swear to God, his eyes like doubled their size, and he looked genuinely shocked. He apologized many times and said he did not want me to think he actually has any bad feelings about having to wait back then and that this is a situation where no one is to blame, especially not me. He said I have been a wonderful wife and all, but that with Jasmine, it just feels different and like a deeper connection than the two of us have, and that while he thought I was wonderful, he now realizes that what he was really looking for in life was something else. So he says reconciliation is not really an option because he realized that we're not right for each other, and even if it doesn't work out with Jasmine, he knows now that he actually needs something that I am just not. I mentioned marriage counseling, and he said that it's not like our marriage has issues, but that the issue is that we're just not right for each other. There were more things we said, and maybe I'll add some later, but right now I am too mentally exhausted. Especially because I still don't feel like I can hate him, because he felt so freaking honest. I think he at least truly believes all the things he said, but that woman still might be a total liar or a scam. He at least promised to be careful with her financially, but he assured me she's not that. I don't know what to make of any of this. It hurts. I guess my marriage is over.